What is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of Day number 67. Cannot believe I've been doing this for 67 days straight. It's calling you out, Mike Norberry. Um, so, I thought we changed up a little bit today. Well, I say that every day. Um, but something I haven't tasted for a while. Really, really love this little distillery up in Tofino. Um, they do an amazing amount of stuff. They've got a jalapeno vodka and uh, jellyfish ab psychedelic jellyfish absinthe, which we'll probably touch on very shortly too. But today I want to do the Tofino Distillery Rose Hibiscus Gin, which just sounds freaking delightful, doesn't it? Just makes sense. Like, roses and hibiscus is 45%. Um, I'm just thinking, this automatically takes me to a white lady sort of direction. Uh, a white lady, a gimlet sort of direction. Just always think of it being simpler like why why make something when you can just buy it so obviously rose petals and hibiscus flowers on the nose gin forward straight away very heavy juniper um a little bit of pine not overly piney much more um uh, dry traditional style juniper that sort of very blunt Blunt force juniper in the nose, but then on the back palate, you're starting to get those little those little floral hints, the little bit of rose petal, wild rose petal, uh, hibiscus flowers got a very sweet berry sort of note to it. On the palate, it's definitely a gin first. You know, like it's definitely like look at me, I'm a gin, good juniper, very coniferous. I think that's just an island thing. A coniferous juniper. I'm not sure if it's the way they treat the juniper, or it's just the island sort of mentality in your head. A little brininess there. And then comes through the hibiscus, and then comes through the rose petals. I love the fact that it's a gin forward, and it's just not a flavoured gin. Which is so much flavoured gin out there in the macro right now. It's insane um, from macro producers. And it's, it's targeting people who don't like gin with flavoured gin. But just like uh, the Stillhead Blackberry Gin, gin first, then the flavoring, and the rose hibiscus. Even though it is the the main names on the on the thing, it's very gin forward, and the rose hibiscus is definitely just another botanical to make this a very round, very clean, little hot, being forty five percent, a little hot on the back palate, but that floral tone, the the rose and the hibiscus just sits there, and all you have on the left on your palate is this beautiful juniper, aromatic juniper floral rose and the sweet hibiscus and that's what it is so number 67 tofino distillery rose hibiscus gin try it in a white lady or a, a colon style um adding water or liquid to this is just going to lengthen out those flavors and really push it out so um get a bottle soon they don't have online store or social media so uh you're gonna have to try and find it at vessel or legacy liquor store in vancouver but check it out have a good day guys see you tomorrow bye